Welcome everybody, my name is Mr. Lama, and today I am bringing you a ZVZ. This is going to be between Sphere Shift, the blue Zerg spawning up in the top right corner, and spawning down the bottom left, we do have the red Zerg player drone it up. The map is going to be Carhaw Compound LE, and this is a ladder match as hey oh, no supply depot. And not one at that ramp either, of course. Uh, so yeah, so ZVZ between these two players and drone it up, getting a little bit excited there with his good luck. Have fun, and it looks like spamming his hotkeys at the well as well at the end of that. So uh, possibly a little bit bored in between the simple drone mining. But hey, you know what? If you're a Zerg player and you're mining drones, uh, or having your drones mine, I should say, mining minerals with your drones, why not sit there and stack them while you're bored? As that's what I see at least a lot of uh, higher level players doing. So it looks like we are going to see Drone It Up send out the Drone Scout right here. And of course what this does is allows him to determine if it is safe to hatch first or not. So a lot of players wonder, they're like, oh, if I send out a drone then I'm going to be losing, what is it, 90 minerals per minute, I believe? Um, which is actually true, that's the amount that you do lose for sending it out. But in terms of ladder at least, or if you're in some term or anything like that, uh, the advantage that you'll gain from going for that 15 hatch is definitely worth it um, for sending out that drone scout. Uh, and this way, if you do get in there and you see, hey, my opponent's going for a 10 pool, well, then you can be a little bit safer. And in the meantime, it looks like you're going to see sphere it up, or sphere shift. Drone it up and sphere it up. Yeah, okay, that kind of mixed them together. Sphere shift going for the 1414. So, 1414 versus hatch first. This, of course, is going to give Drone it up the slight economic lead, unless sphere shift can do damage to the economy. Ways of doing damage number one, killing off some drones. Number two, getting in and uh, denying a lot of mining time. And my personal favorite, simply making your opponent screw up and overproduce lings. So if you can simply get out there and drop a hatch, of course you'll drop your 21 hatch. Um, if you can get out there, drop a 21 hatch, get your queens up, and just get in there and he all of a sudden uh, drops 8 to 10 lings. Well, you know what? you're in a better position and you possibly throw down a spine card or something like that and you can be right back in it with the drones and possibly even ahead um, plus you have faster speed of course so drone it up already has a prediction of what this game's going to be like and he calls it an all in and I don't know if that's fair to call um, a lot of players simply like to take that 21 hatch for sure so he's going to get out here kill it off with his lings and then send the drone out for the hatch right there so it's definitely going to be throwing down that hatch at that appropriate time uh, if you do go for the gas and gas gas pool like that off of 1414 throwing down the hatch at 18 simply just doesn't work out as well um, or by that three minute mark that drone it up was expecting so drone it up now preparing for an all in and getting a decent amount of links as well as a spine crawler out right here and how many links do we have out on the map for sphere, sphere, sphere shift? Sphere. Sphere. That's a tough one to say. Uh, and simply right there, it looks like drawing it up, possibly moving into his own sort of all-in or preparing for an all-in. And going to be uh, now dropping behind in the drone count. So as I was saying before, if you can simply do some pressure, drop a hatch behind and get some drones out yourself hey, all of a sudden you're right ahead and now it looks like Sphere Shift now going to have to throw down a Bane Lingus as he gets in there and says, hey, yo, that's a lot of links and he's also able to kill off a drone so utilizes that timing where he has the speed his opponent is not. There's still about 45 seconds left until he gets the speed out himself and Sphere Shift can just simply run around the base for these 45 seconds, try and pick off yet another drone. It's going to get it. Yes, he will. So now he puts himself in a great position 20 drones to the 14 of his opponent as he's already killed off, what, three drones right there, plus forced a lot of lings, and now Drone Up is going to have to do some sort of counterattack and do some damage, and I don't know if Sphere Shift actually has enough to defend this. He will have a Veiling Nest, though, which is definitely going to help him, and that Overlord should be safe as he can fly into that little pocket right there uh, if he chooses to do so, and in the meantime, now the Lynx heading over here, they do have speed, Banelings being morphed, the Banelings will go up, however, and this is going to force Drone Up to back off, as he cannot engage against those four Banelings right there, unless he has complete baller micro, which he apparently is able to, uh, at least snipe off one of those Banelings, Sphere Shift unable to micro around the Banelings effectively right there at first, and now Drone Up going to start moving in, he's going to actually be able to sneak into his opponent's base right now, 
And... Oh, there we go. Sorry, I had a little bit of a camera bloop right there. And now he snipes the queen off as well, so great play right there. Is he going to be able to get the second queen? That would be a huge blow. It looks like, unfortunately, it's not going to happen. So drone it up. Going to uh, be forced to now uh, save his own skin. In the meantime, though, he has been droning a lot, and these lings are going to be pushing out. There's simply a couple of queens and this spine crawler, though, and I don't think Sphere Shift actually has enough links to deal with that. No, he does not, but hey, you know what? Links can morph into banelings, and banelings take down spine crawlers so quickly. How much damage do they do? 115, I believe? No, 80, sorry. So, four banelings able to kill off a spine crawler, and he has more than four more than enough right there and he's just going to go ahead and now go for some sort of all in of his own and I don't know if Drone Up has enough to defend this he does have a lot of links on the way and a couple of Bane links up there as well he's going to be losing some drones no he's not he actually backs that off and Sphere Shift is waiting with all of these Banes right here and it looks like he's going to push up into the main and actually not able to do enough damage. It looks like he's going to pull his Baneling over here to try and get some kills and actually put himself in a decent position, but not quite good enough. The game is not over. More Ling reinforcements will stream in. They should be able to pick off the spine crawler. I would imagine, however, there are going to be some links now engaging this as well. And the spine crawler may live. No, it will not. It's going to go down. And now the links will back out. The banlings were killed there at the back. However, draw it up. Uh, is still right in it in the drone count. He is behind, as you can see, in the supply by a decent amount, as there are just so many links and banlings there for sphere shift. So I still don't know. This game could still still go either way. It's simply going to be come down to a lot of micro, and now Sphere Shift going to simply target down this hatch. The Banelings now going to start moving in. One nice hit does go off, and it looks like Drone It Up able to get a decent hit of his own, and is Drone It Up going to simply go for a counter? That looks like exactly what he's going to do. Some Banelings going to start morphing in for, for Sphere Shift, but I don't know if it's going to be enough, and it looks like there were huge Baneling and Ling hits. He's going to be losing a Queen here. The Banelings going to start heading towards these drones. Nice split right there by uh, Drone It Up, and he's able to save a decent amount of his drones, actually. However, can he save his natural? That will be huge. If you look, the Lings that pushed up into the base over here did some decent damage as well. He's trying to morph some Bane Links. I don't know if it's going to be enough. He's actually able to get the Banes off just in time. The Spine Crawler was unable to pick away at them fast enough. And now, all of a sudden, Drone It Up suddenly has the Drone Lead. However, if you look at the supply, he's still way behind in the supply. That means his opponent has a much greater army supply. As you can see, 850 to 350, so a lot more links over here. And he's going to have to micro extremely well right now. And it looks like one Baneling going to do some decent damage. Not enough, not what he wanted to do. However, a couple more Banelings are morphing up in the high ground right there. And now we see Spear Shift going to start morphing some Banelings of his own. And he's just going to simply move them over here. Is he going to simply try and pick off the natural drone up, able to get another nice bailing shot, and maybe even another right here, it's going to be close, yes, so decent shots from all those bailings, and he's still able to morph more bailings up there at his main, and huge bailing hits right there for Sphere Shift, I mean, Sphere Shift losing huge bailing hits right there, unfortunately, as one of his bailings exploded on the bailing, or a couple of them them did, and then another bailing went and blew all of his up, so that is not what he wanted to happen, and all of a sudden it looks like this game has once again shifted into his opponent's favor, who is now going to once again go for a counterattack, so he's going to be losing his natural, unfortunately, but he may be able to pick off the natural of his opponent right here, as there's not too much, Sphere Shift just going to have a couple of bailings, and now he's going to be forced to retreat some links, going to try and morph some more bailings in his main, but now he's forced to pull drones, if we look at the drone count, he is already behind, 19 to 13, and that number can only go down, you would imagine, right now. The links are tearing away at the Banelings. That would be a huge hit for them. And now once a hit right there for Drone It Up, he was able to kill off about seven or eight of the links. And can he pick off this Baneling? That would be huge right there. That's exactly what he needs to do. And it looks like he's going to be able to get that for simply a loss of two links. So Drone It Up all of a sudden has taken the lead in this game. However, you have to remember he does not have a natural at all. He does have the Harvester count by a decent amount. And Drone It Up says, nice. I'm not sure what he's referring to exactly. Can't transfuse. He could have transfused that spine curl if he wanted. Unfortunately, he was not looking. But he's going to be losing his main, it looks like now. And Banley's going to start moving over there. They are unable to do too much damage. Able to just simply do a little bit of damage to that one drone. And in the meantime, Drone It Up uh, getting out a queen. It looks like he has lost all of his queens there prior to. And this game is just so close. It's so close 
down to the wire right there. However, you have to remember Drone Up does have the eight Harvester lead. They have about equal armies. He's going to start morphing in a Baneling up top right there, possibly a second one as he does have a decent amount of gas and retakes his expansion as look at how much money he has been floating uh, due to the loss of all of those units. However, you have to see that he is continuing to pick off drones, going to once again get another drone. It looks like he picked off about three or four drones right there. Simply with some nice micro, nice uh, Ling harass in the mineral line in 18 to 7. This game has definitely shifted into Drone It Up's favor. Sphere Shift going to just mass up Ling's as he still is on those two bases. However, you have to note that he is running out of money. He is not mining any gas right now, so he's not going to be able to morph any more Banelings except the three he has at his base. It's going to simply come down to some micro right here and almost a huge loss. He looks like he lost about three Banelings. Two more are lost right there. He does still have the slight lead in the link count. It looks like no more links do stream in. So now Sphere Shift is in a n terrible position. He's going to start droning up behind this as he definitely needs drones if he wants to continue any sort of pressure right here. And is he just going to simply back off? That looks like exactly what he's going to do. Maybe chase down a uh, single link right here, but has to be careful not to lose anything to these Bane links. And in the meantime, Drone It Up has droned as well a little bit as his name suggests. So 23 to 12 right there. And it's just going to be simply be a little bit of Ling back and forth right now, chasing all around. And in the meantime, Sear Shift has simply been uh, trying to drone up himself. He does not have a spine crawler though or anything like that. He simply has three banelings and some links back in his base. And now drone up going to go for a big hit right here. He does have two banelings plus another eight on the way. So he's going to have ten banelings. And it looks like he loses one baneling right there. And actually, that was Fear Shift's Baneling. And is he going to get another one? No, he is not, unfortunately. But he is moving in with a lot of units. He's going to have to be careful right here. And these Baneling hits are going to go off. So this leaves a lot of Baneling simply open for the uh, run-in right here. For Drone Up, he's just going to run straight past. Go for all of these drones. Able to kill off a decent amount of drones right there. And continue going. And that puts our player Sphere Shift down to simply 10 drones to the 27. Now Ling's going to stream in as well. They're going to start picking away. But... Ouch! That was a huge hit right there for Sphere Shift. So he's trying to survive the best that he can. He was able to get a nice Baneling shot there on Drone Up. However, Drone Up, five more Banelings on the way. And can they get decent hits? They're just going to go once again, as I would imagine, straight for these uh, drones. No, instead they pick up the Queen, let the Lings run right by. He's got to be careful not to die to that. Unfortunately, he does. So once again, Drone It Up is losing a ton of Lings right here to just silly, silly, silly Baneling hits. That is not something that you want to see. However, you have to remember he's still in a much more advantageous position than his opponent. He does have uh, both Queens running. He's got a lot of drones, 33 drones right there to his opponents. Simply 15 and drone it up. Gonna go ahead and say, be a little BM right there, unfortunately. But it looks like he's still gonna be able to take this game now. As the Baneling hits do go off, some Lings do stream in. And that is simply going to be it for Sphere Shift. So he's just going to be down to all of his buildings right here. And it really wasn't too much of an all in. I will have to agree with Sphere Shift right there. Um, as he just kind of <laughs> prepared. But drone it up's not gonna have any of it. And instead, he's going to say, you know what? I still don't think you're a great player anyways. So he's going to be able to pick off all of these drones right here. And this should pretty much be a wrap-up of the game. And Sphere Shift's still going to GG out. Congratulate him on his nice micro. And that is going to be it. Drone Up going to take this game, this ZVZ on Core Hall Compound LE. My name is Mr. Llama for Clan Overdose. And I hope you guys enjoyed this cast.